Good afternoon folks and welcome back to another episode of Adam's Eats. I don't know if you can hear this but I'm a bit kind of bunged up. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I think I'm coming down with some sort of bug, flu, goodness knows what, you know. It's me in it, it's me in it. There's always something going on. So I thought I'd make it easier on myself, do something really simple. I'm going to do another kitchen basics video and that's how to cook salmon. Now there's various ways you can cook salmon, you know, you can poach it, you can bake it in the oven, you can do it on papillot, which is basically you encase the whole piece of salmon into baking parchment with aromats and flavours, and then you bake it in the oven like that. But today I'm going to show you how to pan fry it, uh, because it's a really easy method, you extract lots of flavour from the salmon doing it this way, you get a nice crispy skin, and also if you're just getting into fish cookery, this is a really simple method on how to cook your salmon. So let's crack on with it then, if you get your face down here, I'll go and grab the salmon and we'll have a look at what we're dealing with. Right, okay, so let's look at this salmon then. Now, I've brought you in nice and close so you can see what it is that I'm dealing with. Now, most of the salmon that you buy, uh, especially in the supermarket, is gonna be farmed. Um, it's not gonna be wild caught salmon unless you go to sort of specialist fishmongers. And actually, when you're just getting into fish cookery, that's a good thing. Um, and let me explain why. Now, you'll find that most farmed salmon has quite a high fat content. Uh, I mean, salmon's quite a fatty cut of fish anyway, but especially farmed salmon. And you can see, all these sort of strands of that pale pink going all the way through the salmon, that's fat. And that fat is gonna keep the fish moist whilst you're cooking it. And it gives you a little bit of leeway um, and it's a bit forgiving. So if you kind of get your timings a bit off, you know, that fat is still gonna keep it nice and juicy. And also the good thing about salmon is it can take a lot of flavor. Now it's got a quite distinct flavor on its own, but you can do all sorts with salmon. You can marinate it in garlic, ginger, soy, uh, some chili, you know, it can take really strong flavours and you'll still get that salmon flavour. You know, if you're cooking something like cod, sea bass, turbot, they're much more delicate, require a bit more attention, and you know, the fish speaks for itself. Now, I also strongly suggest that you buy salmon with this skin still on, because what we're gonna do is when we pan fry that, it's gonna go really nice and crispy, and it's gonna add lots of texture to when you eat it. Now, I'm not gonna do too much with these, I'm gonna season them quite lightly, just to kind of give you an idea. So let's do that now, and then we'll get them in the pan. Right, okay, so let's season these up. I'm gonna use my tongs here so I don't get fishy hands. And I'm gonna lightly season the skin side with some salt and some pepper. Just press it in a bit so it sticks. And I'm gonna get these in the pan and season the other side. Right, so I've got my pan here. I'm gonna get it onto a sort of medium-low heat. You don't want it too high because it's gonna burn, but also you don't want it too low either because remember, we wanna get that skin nice and crispy. And then to the pan, I'm just gonna add just a touch of oil. I'm using olive oil. You could use rapeseed, vegetable, it doesn't matter. And then also just a small knob of butter because that's gonna add flavor and also add color as well. Right, so once the butter's melted, we'll get in our salmon fillets, skin side down. And at this stage, I'm also gonna season the flesh side. Now what I'm aiming to do here is to leave the salmon fillets on the skin side for about 90% of the cooking time. This is why you don't want it too hot because you're going to burn that skin. And then at the last minute or so we're going to turn them over and just finish off the tops so they go nice and brown as well. Now I've brought you down a little bit closer so you can see what's happening. Now one of the great things about salmon is it's got its very own cooking indicator. You can see here how it's starting to turn pale pink as it moves up the salmon so you can gauge and see how far along it's cooked and that'll give you a good indication when to flip it. Just check every now and again as well, have a look at the skin underneath, you know, make sure it's going nice and crisp. But I reckon in about another one to two minutes, that'll be ready to turn over. Right, okay, so this salmon has now been cooking for about two minutes and you can see that that opaqueness has just sort of got to around about here. Okay, so there's only about that much left to cook on the top of the salmon. So what I'm gonna do now is to turn them over and finish them off on that side. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because the skin can take quite a lot of cooking, whereas the flesh is quite delicate and it'll burn quite quickly. So by doing it this way, you're gonna kind of mitigate that problem. So I'm gonna give this about another minute this side and then the salmon should be done. Right, okay, so it's had about a minute this side. The salmon's now cooked. You can tell just by pressing it, that's cooked all the way through. So I'm gonna get this out of the pan and we'll give it a taste. Right, okay, so we've got the salmon here. I'm just gonna squeeze over some lemon juice. And then very simply, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like inside. Just cut off a nice piece like that. You can see how moist it is, flaking away really easily. Let's go in. It's perfectly cooked, really soft and melting. And that skin, and this stuff is like crackling of the fish world. It's really, really good. And all this white stuff that you can see, don't worry, 
that's just the fat rendering out of the salmon. It's really, really delicious. Well, there it is guys, my really simple kitchen basics tutorial, how to cook salmon. And like I said before, there's a myriad of ways you can cook salmon, but this is a really simple, basic way to get you used to cooking fish. You know, everybody's got to start from somewhere, so by learning how to cook salmon properly, it's going to give you the foundations on how to cook other fish as well. Because the same principle applies, just be mindful that lots of other fish out there are not as forgiving as salmon. But anyway, that's the end. Ooh. But <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Anyway, that wraps up today's video guys, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you do, then please stick a like down below, leave a comment and share across your social media platforms. And if you'd like to show me some love, then please subscribe. And as always, if you stick around at the end, there'll be some links to some of the videos. And if you're not a subscriber, there'll be a button for that as well. And I'll see your lovely faces next time for more tasty fun and frolics. And bye for now. Ugh, I'm gonna drink some Lemsip and feel sorry for myself. Ugh.